Assalamu alaikum dear students i hope you all are fine today we are going to complete our unit number 9 which is has and have as you know that we have started it previously and today we are going to complete it so now let's open our book and see what we are going to learn today yes the first activity which we are going to do today is ask and answer yes i am going to ask you a question and you have to give me answer okay and what is this what we are going to do in this yes you have to observe the picture and after that you have to tell a sentence about the picture by using has and have is that clear yes you have to uh use has and have and you have to tell a sentence by looking at the picture carefully very nice now look at the picture carefully and make first sentence about this picture by using has and have yes she has flowers she has flowers she has flowers repeat after me now look at the next picture and try to make sentence okay you can pause the video and try to make your own sentence and after that you can confirm your sentence by playing the video okay now look at the next one is it has a ball because it's a cat na and for the cat we use it it has a ball it has a ball very nice now look at the next picture yes there are two boys so we can say they have skating board they have skating boards they have skating boards now look at the next picture yes a boy here we have a boy a boy has a pencil a boy has a pencil and you can say it like this he has a pencil he has a pencil now look at the last picture he has a snake he has a snake he has a snake so these are your answer you have to practice them in this way you are able to make your own sentences you are able to say sentences by using has and have i hope you have practiced it before also now let's move to the next activity which is learn to write yes and what we are going to do in learn to write fill in the blanks using has and have yes we are going to fill the blanks by using has and have and remember we have done the practice by using two hands and writing uh, has and have on your palms and you have we have done activity in the last uh, lesson so you have to revise it first like this i have we have they have you have all plural noun have in the same way for has you are going to practice it she has it has name has he has all singular noun has ओके आई होप आफ्टर रिवाइजिंग इट आप लोगों को सबको याद आ गया होगा कि हमने किस किन के साथ हैज़ यूज़ किया था और कहाँ हमने हैव यूज़ किया था सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट डूइंग आर एक्टिविटी विच इज़ विल इन द ब्लैंक बाय यूजिंग हैज एंड हैव सो लेट स्टार्ट इट आई डैश अ पर्स I dash a purse. Very nice. So what's the answer? I have a purse. Now look at the next one. We dash fruit. We dash fruit. We have fruit. We have fruit. Now look at the next one. You dash a computer. You dash a computer. You have a computer. Now look at the next one. He dash sweets. He dash sweets. He has sweets because he's single, Anna. She dash a watch. She dash a watch. She has a watch. It dash three hands. It dash. It has three hands. It has three hands. They dash pens. They have pens. 
they dash pens they have pens ali dash a cow ali has a cow ali dash a cow ali has a cow ali dash a cow ali has a cow girls dash dolls girls more than one in number girls the girls have dolls girls have dolls uh, okay you have practiced them and you have to after when you are done so you have to write them like this you have to write them neatly on your book with your handwriting and your writing should be very neat and clean now let's move to the next one and our next activity is let's talk and what we are going to learn in let's talk telling about a new book yes telling about a new book when you have any new book and you have to tell to your friend about your book so how you are going to say it in english so let's start here we have mamuna and saba and they are going to talk and you have to practice and read it for two time and after that you have to do it with your siblings or friend okay so let's start look saba i have a new story book really show me please here it is wow it is so interesting can i read it yes you can jazakumullah yes in the same way you have to practice and read it for five time and uh, do it with your siblings and your friends now let's move to the next one and our next work is word bank yes next next activity is word bank now look at the picture and try to guess their names yes first one is here 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 next one is elbow 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 touch your elbow and say yes elbow Yes now touch your ear and say ear 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 Now look at the next one finger touch your finger and say finger finger nose touch your nose now nose nose Yes now touch your teeth and say teeth 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 Yes now show me your tongue and say tongue 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 yes now touch your neck and say neck 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 yes and show me your hand and say hand 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 yes now look at your feet and say feet 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 so it's very easy to learn and to do now uh, you have to do your homework and this time you are going to write all parts of body yes now your homework is all parts of body let me show you yes you have to do your work like this neatly and uh, don't forget to write parts of body topic double underline it you have to write both dates and you have to write any 10 parts of body Now let's do our next activity which is student activity yes and you are going to do it here we have fill in the blanks with correct words and the words are taste hold hear smell walk yes taste hold hear smell walk and how do we taste yes with the help of tongue very good and how we hold with the help of hands and how we hear with the help of ear and how we smell very good with the help of nose and how we walk yes we walk with our feet very good so let's solve it v dash with our ear yes v dash we hear with our ear we dash with our nose we smell with our nose we dash on our feet we walk on our feet we dash with our hands we hold with our hands we dash with our tongue we taste 
Vedata. And you will write your answer like yes, write your answer like this. We hear with our ear, we smell with our nose, we walk with, on our feet, we hold with our hands, and we taste with our tongue. And write them neatly and do them properly. Okay, and don't forget them. These are very important regarding your exams point of view. Okay, now let's move to the last activity, which is revision time. And what we are going to do in revision time? Read and match. Read and match. Now first look at the clocks. Yes. And now what we have to do? It is three o'clock. Look at the clock carefully and match. Yes, three o'clock. It is three o'clock because the large hand is on twelve. Now look at the next one. Is it is two fifteen. It is two fifteen. Yes, here we have small hand is on two and big hand is on three. So it is two fifteen. Now look at the next one. It is seven thirty. Yes, here we have small hand near to seven and the big hand is on six. It is seven thirty. Now look at the last one. It is five forty-five. Yes, it is only one is left, so we are going to match it with this. It is five forty-five. Now let me show you answers. Yes, you are going to do matching like this. Do your work neatly. We'll meet inshallah in next lesson. Allah Hafiz.